Guys, today we are going to be comparing the Easton, sorry, the Easton 360 and the Easton 360 compared, drop 11, 31 inch, compared to the Rawlings Prodigy, drop 11, 28 inch. And today we'll be using his official game ball. So, Maybe yeah. Three swings each with the, the, the um, Easton 360 and the Rawlings Prodigy. I will start with the Easton 360. And let's see how it is. Easton 360. Let's hit this thing. Do one more with the Easton 360 and then move on to the Rollins Prodigy. One with the Easton 360. Let's see. Mark, I hit the I'm gonna take one more with it because it wasn't a great hit. Nice hit. Alright. We're gonna move on to the Rollins Prodigy. Drop 11, 28 inch. I'm gonna take my first hit with the Rollins Prodigy. First hit. We still got another one, and hopefully we make the it last better. Last hit with the Rollins Prodigy before I rate them. So let's go. All right, not a bad hit. Hit the right part of the bat. One more with each bat, and then I'll rate them. Last time through, I am going to hit. The Easton 360 one more time, and then the Rawlings Prodigy one more time. All right, let's hit the ball. Ooh. All right, that's the best hit of the day. We're gonna go get that ball, and then we're gonna hit it with the E uh, Rawlings Prodigy. Prodigy. <laughs> not a bad hit, but not as good as the Easton 360. 360. Easton 360. For the Easton 360, the Rawlings Prodigy is really nice. Um, nice bat if you're just getting into playing, you know. Um, it's just a little old. And this one's like nice bat, drop 11, bigger barrel size. Yeah, bigger barrel. And it's just like a two piece, which is much nicer. So, yes, I would prefer this. But. If you're just getting into baseball, I would prefer the Rawlings Prodigy. Thank you for watching.